Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pro World Live. I'm Danielle from Pro World. I'm Janet from Not Pro World. <laughs> and my cameraman. Yep, I'm here. All right, we're all here. You're all here. Thank you for joining us. Um, like always, tune in. Let us know where you are chiming in from, how you're doing. Send us that message. And we are going to get started with sublimating acrylic keychains. Uh, the one thing I love about the acrylic is the thickness of the product and you're actually kind of seeing through the product to your printed image that's on the back side. So it is really um, a nice, unique kind of product. Uh, it's very, it's very nice, very good material. Can you, um, are you able to, to zoom in? I don't know if you'll be able to kind of. So the one with the panda is the thickness. Well the one with the panda says follow your dreams mm -hmm. and that one's mine okay and then the thickness of it you put it down a little bit there you go. a little yeah okay okay so these all come with a white coating on the back side and that is what you'll be sublimating and then the front side will just allow you to see through that acrylic to that that white uh coating and I'm going to be printing today, like yes, all of it. I will let you print today. All right, so before we get started, any questions, comments, anybody tuning in for us? Yes, they are from New York City, West Virginia. That's what you just said, New York City. Rhode started. Island, Southern <laughs> California, Northern California, Oklahoma, San Antonio. Oh, hello, hello, everybody. Virginia, another Texas, Houston. All right. Okay, right. so what are you going to do? You're going to do the heart first? Yeah, so this one going to be that one. So each, like a hold on, yep. Each uh, acrylic product has a coating on it. It has a protection coating on the front side. Okay. That you have to kind of peel off. Hold on. Thank you. So you peel off that protective film on the front. And then there should also be one on the back side. Let's see if this one doesn't seem working. You think so? Yeah. That one doesn't seem like there is one on the back side. Let me just double check another one. That one well, I you guys, already opened that one. While well, you guys are fussing <laughs> with that, hold on. Can you hear now? I'm sorry. Um, Lawana says she can't hear. Can you hear? Oh, we okay? Uh, we also have Maryland, PA, Jersey, Pittsburgh, PA, Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, New Jersey, Philadelphia, yeah. North Carolina. We'll go for it. Okay. Minnesota. Woo. Sorry. Got Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, we'll do uh, a test on this one. I, I feel like I already removed the backing of this one, uh, possibly, but we will go ahead and print and we'll just make sure. But usually they have like this one, when we get to, to this one, I see that there's a coating on both sides or a, a, protective, a protective film on both sides. So you have to make sure you remove both sides before you go for print. You can't speak today. All right. All right, go ahead and place. So you're going to do the white side down onto the print, and you're actually seeing the print through the glass. So we're, we used our sublimation, our acrylic, we use our sublimation printer, the um, virtual, so we have sublimation ink in our unit. Usually for sublimation, you mirror everything. But whenever you're doing acrylic or glass or anything where you have to print on the back side, you do not mirror. So these are non-mirrored images, and you're going to just place them just like that. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's already like going through. And we're just going to get our tape ready here. Okay. Yes. Uh, question. Oh, Tarzan. Tarzan, Tanzan, I'm sorry, I can't even speak. Tanzania, Africa is tuning in. Oh, hello. Pasadena, California. Pasadena, where you at? 
uh, Connecticut, Nevada, Pittsburgh. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, first question came through. Barbara said, is there such a thing as a double-sided acrylic piece? Double-sided acrylic piece? I don't think so. Um, only because there wouldn't be a spot for you to print on. Um, you do need that coated. What are you doing? You do need that coated surface, so that way it'll accept the sublimation ink for you. All right, so we're gonna take this carefully, flip it around, paper on top. But you have to do it carefully. Cover with your nonstick sheet. You're gonna press it. Yep. Okay. All right, and Stevie yeah. says, uh, can we buy these on Pro World now? Yes, absolutely. They're under the keychain section. Go ahead, close them up. Push. Yeah, push. There we go. Um, I, I was faking that. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it's 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. That's your application. Uh, we have it on up medium to heavy pressure. Maybe a little too heavy since she was having a little bit of difficulties. Um, I think she just need to work those muscles. <laughs> Like I've been doing one pose and I had mommy wake me up this morning so I can exercise with her. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to wait till that sets. It looks like we have 20 seconds left. Actually um, 21. It's cool. It's counting. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get the next one set up and then you can see. So you have the coating or the film. It's not, a co it's not quite coating, but it's the film on both sides. So peel off the front. And then you can peel off the back. And beep. There you go. Okay. Pop. Woo! Once you pop, you can't stop. All right. <laughs> and now you just remove it. That scared me. And you can already see it's printed. It's. And now you just got to rip it. Yeah, now you just got to remove it off. That's your back side. This is the front side. And then we have these to put on it to make it an actual keychain. All right, there you go. It's quite hot. All right, so you have these. It's, so you have this. It's kind of like a clip. So you've just got to go like that. And all and then. Well, you're gonna wait, wait for that because it's a little hot right now. Even though I'm holding it, it's probably not not wise to hold <laughs> or to put a plastic clip on. Well, let's let's hold off on that for a minute. Yeah. So we're gonna let this. We're gonna let this sit. Can I have this? Uh, yes, Sam, he does. He wants to get by currently. Oh, our dog? Yeah. <laughs> um, quick question from Barbara. She says, is there such a thing as acrylic ornaments? <gasps> yes. We don't carry them. Um, but they, they are out on the market, but we, have, um, we haven't gotten those in. And Michelle says, also excited about the new Christmas stockings. Way to go, Pro World. Oh, yes. They're very fun. You know what? Can you... Um, where is that Christmas stocking? Is it in the back? I know where it is. I'll, I'll show you one live so that way you can see it. Nice. All right, so we're going to just peel the coat or peel the, I keep saying coating, peel the film off both sides. It was on the floor. That's a great place for it. <laughs> Isn't it? All right, so there are, here you go. You can go ahead and set that one up there. Christmas stocking. You can cut, the, cut this out first. So this is the, the stocking that we have. I don't know. I don't know if ours has the red backing. I, I don't remember if we did double double linen or a red back. I think it's the red backing. Um, but that's that's the stocking that we have on the website right now. So this is a uh, sublimation ready. It is a, like a linen. It's pretty thick. Um, it's like a nice linen fabric. And uh, it's kind of, I don't know if you can sort of see in there, but it's nice, it's nice and thick. Uh, it's a really good quality stocking. All right, so while she was doing that, I wanted to go ahead and print it myself. Oh yeah, you're just gonna go ahead and print it yourself, huh? Yeah, now you're doing that. Why did you do that? You want the clip on this side and not on this side? Well, it has to, it has to I know, but that down. Cute, like this. It's creative differences. Mm -hmm. No, you want it that way? Yeah. Okay. It is creative differences. You're right. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've got it. Go ahead.
What are you doing? <laughs> Let me help you with this. No, 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 no. I got it. I got you're it. You're not, you're not, it. it's I not got straight. It. I got it. That's a good idea, Michelle. She said she would put an image on the white side and a vinyl name on the other side, on the red side. Oh, that's second. a great idea. Okay, now it's perfect. Hold it with one hand. Portland, Oregon, one hand. in the house. How are you guys making out out there in uh, in Oregon? Well, I made it. Mom, not my finger. <laughs> Try not to do your finger. The edge, yeah, Jay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, we got this. Yeah, Renata says she loves how independent she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it now. All right, now do the other side so it doesn't move. <laughs> it's like watching paint dry sometimes. Yeah. Mom. Perrysburg, Ohio. Ooh, okay, okay. where is now that gonna actually? Do? You're gonna take that and do what with it on the heat press? Don't worry about that piece. It's fine. <laughs> what are you going to do with the heat press? Which way are you going to flip no, it? I'm going to flip it this way. There you go. So paper side up. Don't, don't do that. Uh -uh. You're lucky your tape was pretty good. Just flopped it on. <laughs> it got scared. Cover with your non-stick sheet. Hold on. Let her walk through the steps. What are you doing right now? I can do it, Mom. No. All right. So hold on. So you put the acrylic... Well, put the acrylic keychain on your product. Yeah. Tape it, and then put it under the heat press. Acrylic down, paper up, and then cover with a nonstick sheet. Now you can go. Oh yeah. And you're, you're pressing at what temperature? We're at four hundred degrees for sixty seconds. Four hundred degrees for sixty seconds. Now this is the nonstick sheet. And what's this? The silicone sheet for underneath. All right. Now close and lock. Now I have to close and lock it, and I'm doing it with one hand. I'm very you heavy. can't do it with one hand. <laughs> you just did it with one hand. With your assistance. Ah, uh, gotcha, Julie. It's pretty far up there. Um, All right, so since this one's nice and uh, cooled down now. Easy, easy, <laughs> easy, Tiger. All right, so um, what nope. we're going to do. I got it. Okay. What are we gonna do? Is we're she's gonna trying take... to she's trying to take over, I think. <laughs> so we're gonna do we're gonna take the key chain. The key ring. Key ring. And we're gonna put it on this plastic piece here. And then Yep. Anyway. And then um we're gonna put that through like that. And then you're not clipping it. Can you go push it up? And then um, you stick up that way. You put it like through the uh, dot thingy. And then you really have to push down hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. You clip it real hard. Uh oh. You gotta clip it really hard. Oh, so that's how the unicorn Stay works. Stay focused on your task. Uh, Diana asks, would temp and time be the same for acrylic squares? Like this one here. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, temp and time are the same for all the acrylic items. Uh, we, sell the, we sell four different style keychains. The hearts, the squares, rectangles, and circles. Um, so 400 degrees, 60 seconds, that's what's going to allow you to to imprint, are you still struggling with that? Yes. Um, that's that's the setting that you'll use for all of them. Yeah. Hold up. All right, I it's can not, get this. It's not nearly as hard as she's um, making it seem. I can get this. <laughs> you just close and and clip. I <laughs> Oh, see, look at that. It was a race, and you lost. <laughs> so the plastic just there's um. A, a clippy a clip piece in the plastic, so you just close and lock it, and then it's in. Did you sabotage mine? Let me see what you're doing. You're probably I'm sorry. It, struggling so much. Uh, oh, go. not okay. She said, "Sorry, not a keychain, but example of an eight by eight square." So I, I've never worked with any larger acrylic than the keychain. I would imagine that your your sixty seconds would be fine for it. Um. 
what you'll want to do is as long as you can kind of see when like when you open the heat press and you flip over your acrylic I guess tile if it's an eight by eight you'll be able to kind of see the ink release on the paper so you'll kind of see this sort of thing on the paper as long as your edges have totally imprinted on then you're fine and you can release it if not I would just go ahead and tack it for another minute uh, so that way it's definitely sure that you're covering all the area but you should be able to tell when you when you open up that heat press after the minute if you've covered everything all right now we're gonna do the a stands for the big apple we're gonna do this one okay. the, the one in the middle Okay, did anybody else have any questions? Uh, yeah, uh, Juma asks, uh, is the acrylic keychain coated for sublimation or can or you can use any normal acrylic? Uh, these are already pre-coated for sublimation, so it has that polymer coating on the back side, which is a white uh, coating. So they're already pre-coated and ready for sublimation. Now you could potentially also use sign vinyl on these, uh, so you can use sign vinyl on the front side and then just have that kind of white as the background. So that's an option as well. Just keep talking. Did you rem Oh, I think I removed it already. So all the acrylic that we have has the, um, the film. They're both sides, so remove both films so that way when you put it under the heat press, you are you're all right. And then she's just going to tape it off here with uh, the thermal tape that we've been using. Though. All right. I hope uh, Priscilla. Hopefully, that answers your question as well. Did I answer a question without knowing the question? Yeah. yeah it was similar. She said, uh, "Is this special acrylic?" Because she remembers she asked the question, and someone said that you couldn't sublimate on acrylic. Oh yeah, these are definitely. All of our sublimation products are already pre-coated and ready to go. So the only thing you have to do is just. Um, get them and print, and then you can use the duty press. Okay, I don't know so why now I'm going to put it there, and then mm -hmm. I have to put my non-stick sheet. Mommy, I've got this. Go ahead. It's fine where it was. There you go. Now I'm going to put my non-stick sheet, not doing it twice, just saying that twice. And now I'm going to pull this down. Wind's a little dark for a minute. Without <laughs> mom's help. <laughs> I Push got it. You there you mom, go. Just, you just I need that. Said, I thought. <laughs> just give that itty little bit of a second. I said I thought. You almost. But you know what? When you start to close it down, your timer already starts counting. So you don't want to. Waste time. Waste time. Thank you. You don't want to waste time. You got this. I, I was there for you. Ooh. I will do it. Well, that's the last one. You see that so. look? Oh, no, it's not. Everybody, I think, sees that look. <laughs> we have this one. Well, we're not going to print on that one. Sorry. We can do another BFF one. <laughs> uh, Diane asks, why are you putting a paper down on a heat press first? Just to keep it clean. Um, when you When you print... Since, so this was the paper that was down on the heat press for the heart. When you print your design, the ink side is going down. So you want to make sure that you keep your bottom pad nice and clean. There shouldn't be any kind of ink. Okay. Mm, we <laughs> a little rough. Next time, we'll just ease it open rather than letting it go. I can't do that, though. Well, then that's when you ask for assistance. All right, for you guys at home, make sure you hold down your yes. thing when you spring it up. Okay. It's all okay, right. Okay, now we're going to do the BFF again. We're not. <laughs> all right, that's good. But let me get back to her question. Mm -hmm. So when you put your paper da face down, all of this ink will release. It'll mess up your bottom pad. Again, you want to keep that nice and clean. So the next product that you do, you're not. It's not going to affect it at all. So it, and you can just do. Um, I use parchment, but you can do copy paper. You can really have anything on that bottom pad. So it's just to keep the pattern clean? Yes. Okay. Yep. Platinum. All right. Okay. Any other questions? I have one. Not yet. 
I have one. Yes, what's your question? Why are we doing the rest of these? <laughs> because I did not create a design for the vertical but one. But it fits. <laughs> it will be fine without one. Thank but you. But it fits. <laughs> I think three samples are pretty good for them oh. to see. No, we oh, do it like, I'm sorry, we Cliff. Do it like this. Uh, Cliff says, is there anything special regarding the pad on the press? Uh, this is just a silicone pad on the press. It comes with it um, already kind of on there. Nothing special about it, but it is just a heat pad. Since it was wobbling, I thought it was that pull-out one. No, it's not the pull-out one. Okay, anything else? Think we're good? Anyway, goodbye. All right. Well, thank you all <laughs> so very much for watching, and we will see you here next week. All right, bye.